functional group of esters are COO how the esters are formed ethanoic acid in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid and ethanol reacted to form ester okay you can check more about ester on our other icon notes in our daily life we all use soap oil and fat are the esters formed when the fatty acids like palmitic acid stearic acid oleic acid etc react with alcohol glycerol then this oil and fat react with the alkalis to form soap normally sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are used in soap formation the byproduct glycerol formed in the industrial preparation of soap can be used in the preparation of medicine cosmetics etc okay let's check the preparation of soap the materials required are sodium hydroxide or caustic soda coconut oil water sodium silicate and stone powder we have to take each materials in accurate measurements then let's check how soap can be prepared first dissolve caustic soda in water taken in a steel vessel heat is liberated when caustic soda dissolves in water it takes 3 to 4 hours for the solution to get cooled when the solution cools pour it into a coconut oil taken in a plastic or steel vessel and stir it then add stone powder and sodium silicate this is to increase the hardness and quantity of soap then Stir well till the mixture solidifies. Perfumes and dyes may be added for fragrance and attractive color. Then pour the above mixture into mold. In three to four days, the mixture becomes soap. The soap taken from mold should be used only after two week. So now you all see the video which shows the preparation of soap. How this soap remove the dirt particles? soap have two ends one is a non polar end which should dissolve in oil and the other one is a polar end which should dissolves in water so the hydrocarbon part of the soap which should dissolves in oil and the polar part of the soap which should dissolves in water and in this way the soap remove dirt from cloth and also when soap dissolving in water it reduces the surface tension so cloth can easily wet and thus the soap can easily remove the dirt so soap acts as a medium between the water and the dirt like soap detergents are also cleansing agent they also have a non polar end which is soluble in oil and a polar end which is soluble in water detergents are formed from the hydrocarbons which is obtained from coal petroleum etc most detergents are the salt of sulfonic acid is soap and detergent react in same way in all type of water let's check it through an activity okay for the activity take some distilled water in a test tube and same amount of hard water in another test tube then add few drops of soap solution to both of the test tubes and shake well what can be seen here let's do another activity here take same amount of hard water in two test tube then add few drops of soap solution to the first test tube and add the same amount of detergent solution in the second one then shake both the test tube what do you observe from this video it is very clear that soap does not form lather well in hard water this is due to because 
in hard water there are insoluble compounds are formed by the soap due to the reaction of soap with calcium magnesium etc but the detergents doesn't form such compounds and so detergents are more effective in hard water than soap but the components of detergents cannot be easily decomposed by the small organisms present in water and so the detergents badly affect these organisms for example detergents which contain phosphate particles increase the growth of algae present in water and it limit the oxygen content and thus it causes respiratory problem for the aquatic organisms okay so now we discuss about the difference between detergents and soap in this chapter we discuss about different kinds of organic compounds and the reaction of these organic compounds okay we can meet in next chapter thank you 3 lakhs ilere varuna chodyutharangal etuvum kuranja chilavil sondamakkuvan udan thanne download cheyyu nclabs the learning app